Really pleased to report today that Hillgrove Resources has become Australia's newest copper producer on the Australian Stock Exchange with first copper concentrate being produced at the Camman 2 underground mine in South Australia. This transition from explorer to producer not only brings in our first cash flows from the underground, but it also demonstrates the ability of the team to deliver complex projects on schedule, which bodes well as we increase operations at Canman 2 and then turn our attention to growing the business through further exploration and development opportunities. This is a really significant milestone for the company. Copper is extremely important as the world seeks to decarbonise through electrification. Many of the headlines that you see revolve around lithium, vanadium, nickel, cobalt, all the battery related technologies. But the reality is for the world to transition to a decarbonised economy, you need an electrical conduit and that is copper. So the commencement of first copper at Canman 2 is just the first stage in the development of the broader Canman 2 complex. We have over nine known mineral loads that have been mined or drilled as part of the open pit operations that ran from 2010 to 2020, producing about 140,000 tonnes of copper and over 55,000 ounces of gold. All these areas remain open at depth and provide excellent opportunities to increase the mine life as well as annual copper production through further exploration. We recently discovered the Canman 2 Deeps, a large geophysical target around one kilometre in strike length, which sits immediately north of the existing Canman 2 deposit. And we believe that this may be uh, an extension of the Canman 2 zone and presents an enormous opportunity to grow the mine life into the future. The restart of operations at Canman 2 continues what has been around a 20 year relationship with the local communities in Canman 2 and Callington. We enjoy excellent support from those communities and provide significant benefit, particularly through local employment. We now have 160 people on site, over 40% of which are from the local region. Our relationship with the local community extends well beyond employment, however. For example, last year, we assisted the community in securing a $1.3 million grant from the Native Veg Council to create a multi-kilometre green belt, linking our rehabilitation activities here on site at Camman 2 with further afield local vegetation initiatives. I'm very proud of the team's achievement to deliver first copper from the Canman 2 underground, which is extremely important part of the energy transition towards a decarbonised economy. Mm -hmm.